Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, the second test of that new motor mounted on that uh, American Flyer caboose. And this is just held on with a piece of tape and two pieces of foam mounting tape, so it'll come right back off. And since this one had a uh, roller contact for the light, it was a perfect choice. It's good and heavy car. Anyway, just testing this motor. So I'm running it as a tractor, and I've added tin... Lionel cars, the full consist to this American Flyer caboose with the aeroplane motor. Let's see how this runs. It is much more efficient as a tractor. As you see, So again, it's an interesting concept, a rail car powered by a propeller, and in this case, a tractor actually pulling the cars. So just want to do a quick video on uh, testing this motor. It's an interesting application. It's actually quite fascinating. Anyway, American Flyer Caboose, it had a hot roller, so it was a perfect choice to uh, test the motor, and then 10 Lionel cars. So it's pulling it as well as a locomotive does. As you see. Still taking this really slow. Things really top heavy. Anyway, just a quick test of the motor. As you see, it works, there's no doubt about that. This motor was free. So, just a quick test. I'll build a uh, new chassis for this in the next few days. So, just a quick test of the motor itself. It works, there's no doubt about that. It actually works quite well. So, I uh, still need to experiment with different props, but it's promising. It's also a lot of fun. I've never done this before. Of course, I don't think a whole lot of people have. There is almost no information on a propeller-powered rail car. There's nothing in O-Gauge uh, at all that I've found. Anyway, one more time around. So as you see, it works. No doubt about that. So just a quick video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.